A New York man has filed a class action lawsuit against Amazon for pulling his job offer after he tested positive for marijuana use. Now his drug offer as a package sorter was contingent on passing this drug test, so it seems pretty simple. The company has a drug policy and they're following it, but it is not that cut and dry because the state and the city have some things going on that are putting employers in a tough situation. Now, first of all, it's important to note that marijuana recreational use is not legal in the state of New York, and that's not for lack of trying. This is actually their third effort that they're going through right now to legalize it, and the governor is really hoping that this third time is a charm because it's expected the state will bring in more than $300 million every year in sales tax. So that is going on on the state level. Now in the city, they passed the human rights law that went into effect this past May. And that says that even though marijuana is still not legal for recreational use, employers are not allowed to use pre-employment drug tests to weed out potential uh, employees. Um, they can do this for some safety sensitive positions, but this package sorter position didn't qualify and this Amazon facility was in Staten Island. So they kind of have to go by this new law as well. And here's where it gets even more confusing. So you can't use the drug test to weed out applicants, but once they're an employee, you can use drug testing to make sure you have a drug free facility. So New York has some things they need to work out for the sake of their employers. Now in California, they're also trying to prevent employers from using pre-employment drug testing to weed out candidates. And it's happening in a much more orderly fashion, it seems, than what's going on in New York. For example, recreational marijuana use has been legal in California for five years. So it would seem strange that you could weed somebody out of your applicant pool for doing something that's completely legal. So they're going after specifically urine testing and hair testing because these can look back in the past 30 days and 90 days respectively to see if someone has used the drug and supporters say that's kind of like digging through somebody's trash looking for empty beer bottles and then claiming they were drunk on the job so um as with New York City, this only applies to pre-employment testing. After that, once you're an employee, you are allowed to be drug tested to make sure the facility remains drug free if that's what the employer wants. So talk about a nasty surprise. The Marine Corps somehow accidentally sent a box of urine samples to a woman in Arizona instead of to the Navy drug testing lab in Illinois. Uh, they only found out about the mistake when Marine Sergeant Andrea Fisher tweeted about her strange package. They have since gotten it all fixed and it seems like Sergeant Fisher had a great sense of humor about the whole thing. They're doing a lot more drug testing in the Marine Corps these days. They've done it um, in the past, but now they've added LSD to the panel because that's turned out to be a problem with uh, some of the recruits. So she got that nasty surprise on her doorstep. Hopefully that won't happen again. All right, if you have like more information about drug testing, check out ebiinc.com and we'll see you back here next week.